So Marvel dropped a trailer for What If, Marvel's What If. Uh, they dropped kind of a, like, just cast and crew talking about Miss Marvel clip. And then they got a trailer for WandaVision, the second trailer. I'm not, so let's talk about those. Um, the first trailer, WandaVision, was just kind of like, we saw the same stuff. It's slightly different, but it's like, eh, there's nothing new to talk about there. I just thought I'd mention it. Uh, what If is a great idea for a series. I'm really excited about that. Um, kind of the idea of taking Marvel characters. and eh, eh, So if you don't know, there's like a comic series where there'd be like a comic. What if Thanos became like an Avenger or something? And that would be the storyline. And that's a comic, right? But this is an animated series based on those lines of comics where they do like a random story like that. What if this happened? And it's going to be animated, and it's going to have all the actors and voice actors from the movies coming back to do voices in it. So I'm really excited about that. There wasn't too much they showed off in that. Um, and then we got a like a, just a logo for Peter Pan and Wendy, um, which was kind of like, really? I apologize about the noise in the background. Um, so after that, it was Miss um, Marvel was just really stupid. Here's the thing, Miss Marvel is a character. Um, I, th I went to a convention and I got uh, Miss Marvel, like her origin book, for free. So I read through it. On the cover, it said, What are the best comics in decades? Blah, blah, blah. There were all these high praises reviews, and I was thinking, Wow, I should read this. Immediately after I read it, I knew why those things said it. It was a bunch of bullcrap journalists. Who got paid to say the book was good because it had um, like a group of um, people from India and a, like a different culture and things like that. Um, at least I think it was India. It's been a while since I've read the book, so I apologize if I offended anyone and got the wrong thing. But you know, so I'm not excited for it because if the book was pandering like that. Of course, this movie or series is going to be just as pandering, and I can't... Like, it's not that... I, maybe it could be good. I, I don't want to say that, but, like, the source material isn't good. And that's what we a lot we saw with Captain Marvel, was the source material wasn't good, and they just made a pandering movie to already pandering source material. Like, you know... I get the main reason they changed Captain Marvel to a woman was the fact that Shazam was a character and they had the same name at one point. There was that whole thing. And I get that, but it didn't, but it just kind of took away some stuff from her character and they didn't really change anything beyond that to make her more unique. And that's what kind of bothered me about that character in the comics. And then the movie would just like, get that out of here. And so like, I'm just kind of looking at this and going, okay. This is what you guys want to do. Cool. I'm cool with a Miss Marvel show. You just better do a dang good job. And I hope there aren't a bunch of people who blindly praise it because it features a different group of people that's underrepresented. Yeah, that's cool, but it doesn't make the movie good. I would... Okay, look at it this way. Let's say I'm a black guy. Okay, they put me in a movie. And I'm playing a black guy. Okay. People start blindly praising the movie because there's a black guy in it. Now the movie comes out, it's a terrible movie. So the my culture and my group of people is now being represented through a bad movie that's being blindly praised because black people are in it. So wouldn't it would be better if you praised the thing that was good with black people in it? So that way you can show, hey, black people are capable of great things and not just mediocre or bad things. You know, it's like you cannot when we're if you want if you want change in the industry, if you just blindly praise everything, black people in it, women in it, blah blah blah. You gotta praise it based on the quality. You don't because they're not gonna give you good movies. They're not going to give you high quality representation. They're going to give you the bare minimum because that's what you showed them is okay. And I just, that disgusts me and I'm not even 
black or woman, gay, whatever, you know? I'm not any of those things. But yet I can see that this stuff is clearly pandering and it's made to make a group of people happy without even doing anything. And that's what really, really, really bothers me about it. What am I going to say? I just, I find that kind of crap disgusting, so...